Right now we're stood 15 metres below the River Thames and we're focused on the task in hand of installing all the permanent infrastructure into the tunnels to enable crossrail services to operate in late 2018. We're running a 24 hour operation in the tunnels at the moment uh, to install all the infrastructure. We have two railheads, one at Plumstead and one over at Westbourne Park. They house all of the major plant and machinery that is used to form all the components and all the infrastructure throughout the crossrail tunnels. We use a fleet of bespoke machines that have been designed and constructed specifically for use on the crossrail project. These consist of multi-purpose gantries, multi-purpose vehicles and a concrete and train which is all used to form the permanent track you see behind me. The track installation is a four stage operation. Stage one is to install the rails into the running tunnels. Each rail is 108 metres long, it is pulled into the tunnel, it is installed into its final location and it is welded together using specialised welding equipment. Stage two is to bring in the sleepers. We have up to 70,000 sleepers on the Crossrail project. We deliver sleepers to the railheads here at Plumstead and over at Westbourne Park. The sleepers are then distributed up the running tunnels and placed in their final location using the multi-purpose gantries. Stage three is to set the track to its correct line and level, and then stage four, which occurs overnight, is the concreting of the track using the concrete and train. The train is essentially a 465 metre long batching plant, which is replenished in the railhead during the day with grout and water and aggregates. It is then sent into the running tunnels overnight to cast the concrete track slabs. So the train is reversed into the tunnels. At the front of the train is a 300 metre long concreting pipeline, which sits at the work face. The concrete train then moves along the tunnel with the pipeline to enable the concrete track slab to be poured. So we have a concreting gang which works throughout the night, placing the concrete into its final location and ultimately finish the concrete to achieve the high quality finish of track slab you see behind me. The insulation of the track is like a production line. We have teams of people working sequentially down the tunnel to ultimately work to deliver a quality product which will enable Crossrail trains to run for the next 120 years. To get to this point is a huge milestone, but we are merely at the start of the railway systems journey. We have a huge challenge ahead of us to get all railway systems installed in the tunnel and commissioned ready for operational services towards the end of 2018.